Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'll be showing you how to clean out this nozzle um, using a semi-automatic cold pull method and uh, we're going to use the Omnidrop extruder for that. So let's uh, heat up the hot end temperature to 250 degrees first of all. Then we're going to increase the idle tension and try to increase it to the maximum. Just make sure you don't over tension the spring. There should be still some air gaps between the, the coils, the spring coils, just so that the spring doesn't get uh, damaged. Next, we're going to load up some nylon filament. Please use nylon filament. This is just a, the best filament you can use to uh, do a cold pull um, due to its characteristics. Uh, I'm using here Tolman 910, which I found to be quite good for uh, to do a cold pull. Um, so we're extruding a bit here the filament, you can see it drooping down. Next we're going to um, start the G-code that is going to perform the um, cold pull for us. Um, it's obviously called cold pull jet G-code. Um, so you see it here, go press it, press it, press it, press it, there we go. So you can see instantly the temperature drops down to 120 degrees. Here is the G-code step by step. Um, the most important G-code here is the M302P1 G-code. Uh, that G-code allows for a cold extrude. Um, so this means that your extruder can move even though the hot end temperature is below around 170 degrees Celsius. As you can see here, the temperature is set to 120 degrees for the nozzle temperature. The blower fan is, gonna, is put on full blast so it cools down the hot end. And then uh, basically the printer waits until the nozzle reaches the 120 degrees and then starts slowly pulling out for the first five millimeters the filament and then it's just a bit faster so you can pull out the filament a bit more easily and then everything shuts down and is being disabled. So now let's see how this G-code actually performs uh, life in session. So the temperature was set to 120 degrees now and we're going to slowly using the manual push continuously the filament out and then basically around 180 degrees Celsius you basically can't push any more more filament as you can see here now it's just too cold to extrude any filament so now we're just stopping uh, pulling off this thread dot right there waiting for the temperature now to reach 120 degrees uh, Celsius on the hot end and then the g-code basically starts and pulling out this cold filament and performing a cold pull method for you. So let's wait, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now we can see my finger says it's turning. It's can't, Yes, you should see it now basically it slowly turns and then now it should go faster. Yeah, it goes faster as yes, you can see and then as a last step basically just pull out the filament and now I had just to cut the film there and focus again and you can see there basically we got our cold pull like uh, it uh, it should look like this so it should be a perfect replication of the nozzle geometry and uh, you can see some some dirt in there it's being being cold pulled uh, as a last step you then release the idler tension back to normal which should be around two to three millimeters so basically an air gap between the extruder main body and the idler should be two to three millimeters. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah I'll see you next time.